Jackson on number eight. Seven, it's Kobe Bryant. Number six is Julius Irving because he could dunk and he played for the ABA. He was a street ball player and very good. Number five is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He scored the most points in his career, most points for a career ever as a record. He scored 38,000 points, and that's a record. No one's beat that. No one scored more points in their career than him. And he's gotten a couple championships, all-star appearances, and stuff like that. He could rebound. Uh, he could. He did the sky hook, and he could score really well. He had pretty good defense. He could block. Next is number four is Bill Russell. He had really good defense. He could dunk the ball. He could um, do hook shots. He could post up. He couldn't shoot. That was one of his weaknesses. He's gotten 11 championships which is very impressive and he holds the record for that. He holds the record for, he holds um, like really like one of the records for rebounding. He got about 20 rebounds per game on average. And yeah, so number three is Wilt Chamberlain. He scored 100 points in his career, in his uh, one game in his career. And he, was a very good post player. He could rebound. He could defend pretty decently. He won some championships, all-star appearances, and stuff like that. And number two is Larry Bird. He could pretty much do everything. He wasn't very athletic, but he could dunk the ball or stuff it. And he, he did do the job, and he... Get, he did get the job done, and yeah, he could pass it, and he saved the Celtics franchise pretty much. And he um, won a couple championships, all-star appearances. He won the Rookie of Year award, and yeah, he was really good. And he was a good passer, and he could shoot. Number one is Michael Jordan. He could pass. He could shoot. He could dunk. He could transition, run fast. He he won the dunk dunk contest a couple of times. He had a lot of appearances and he he played for a long time. And yeah. He could dunk and do everything. And he's really famous for his uh shoes his shoes, and his branding, and he's the best player, mostly I rate it because everybody knows who Michael Jordan is, even if you don't play basketball or watch basketball, and he's really been a good advertiser for the NBA, and he's widely known, and everyone knows him, so that's why I consider him the best player, and he was a good player too, and that's my top 10 NBA basketball players of all time and the best ones I think they are. If you want me, if you um, want to tell me your top 10 list in the comments below, I would enjoy to read those. And thanks for watching me and listening to my list if you watched this video this far. Um, and thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe and enjoyed this video. Bye.